Hey, hey, ABC, Jeff here. So, took 14 days. Kind of got a little banged it up there, but I don't think it's going to damage it. But 14 days to get, not too far, seven days to get four hours. This is the package that I've in the past couple videos talked about that uh, has been coming. So this came from uh, Aaron Muta Alamere. This is the contest winnings for the VCLT contest that he had recently, a couple weeks ago, where you basically showed the VCLT that you had received and just talked about VCLT type stories. And then he drew a winner and the winner got something and I ended up winning that. And then I chose somebody to get some VCLT from him that as far as I know had never received any. And then somebody in my comment list that doesn't make videos that they would get some. So I provided all of that. So this is a package. I don't know what's in it. You know, I assumed it would be a piece of VCLT, but it obviously has more than a piece. Went ahead and scored it. So let's open it and take a look and see what's going on here. <clears throat> if you haven't checked out Aaron's channel, I'm sure you have. Anybody that's probably watching me has probably watched him. He is, uh, He's always sending VCLT and he's always sending amazing stuff to people. He's always very generous with that. He's got everything. I wouldn't even know what to send him. It is the second contest I won from him. He did one early on and I was the second place winner. He gave away three prizes. So. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, no. Wow. One, two, three, four. I can fold, I can roll. Anyway, rail. Yes, this is amazing. These are, I didn't even, I actually had these. They reissued these on CD and I um, not too long ago sold them just because they were worth some money. And I thought I would probably eventually buy these. Rail was the first band back in the 80s that won the MTV Basement Tape Awards. That was an award show that they had where they had all these bands compete and then like a battle of the bands with videos and stuff. And then they gave the winner a recording contract i believe this is a washington band very just very melodic commercial uh just rock rock and roll and i i've loved it i i had this cd and i had this cd yeah they reissued their cds uh and they had one that had uh their ep and an album and then they had another one, and then they released a cd of an album that i'd never even heard before and the band had gotten together and done something in the past 10 years anyway um, they had something fairly new. I had all of that stuff, but awesome. I, Rail is one. Of, it's just one of those bands you just love them, and I love them. Like I said, I bought the CD as soon as they came out, and then years later, found out that you know somebody wanted one, so I sold one. All right, there is more. I see. Let's see. There's a piece of cardboard in here. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> Sammy Hagar Live 1980. And I, I, he probably has to know. Well, he did. I think I did share my Discogs. I have this in my cart, actually, to buy. And I keep not pulling the trigger. It's one of the only early albums by Sammy Hagar that I did not have. I'm confused because I don't know. These things look, they're in great condition. I'm a big Sammy Hagar fan. Look at that. It's in a MoFi sleeve and everything. I'm a big Sammy Hagar fan, and I have most all of his early catalog except his very first album and this live album. And then there's some other import live stuff, but this is just, I love this album. I love the live stuff he did back in the uh, 80s and previously before he really made it big. Wow. Obviously, he's been uh, knowing where I'm going. There's more. <laughs> now, this is funny. Profit. Now, <laughs> strange thing is, while this was in transit, I got this in the mail the other day because I bought it from the Super Metal Sunday a couple weeks ago. So he would have had no idea. It literally, what was that? I showed it maybe two videos ago or whatever. But yeah, this is a band. And when I showed it, I totally failed to mention one of my subscribers commented and said that the singer for this is Ted Poli. Poli? Oh, wow. This is like brand new. Dude. Ted Poli, that's his name, right? Danger, danger. I cannot read that right on gray. Anyway, he's the drummer and vocalist in this fan on the first album. And later went on to be the singer for Danger, Danger, I'm pretty sure. And he's done some solo stuff. I recently downloaded a solo album of his, like maybe two years ago or so. Anyway, this is it. And then he left. And then the second album, they had a different singer. And probably on the third album, too. 
awesome, but yes. Um, but like I said, I picked up a copy of that, and it was it was also new on Superman on Sunday, so I can pay. Oh, Aaron, seriously? <laughs> I can't believe what else I see in there. Um, again, one of the mass albums I don't have and really want. This is the one that Michael Sweet produced, Michael Sweet of Striper. So, um, yeah, it's an EP. Great stuff. I think this and Voices in the Night is the other one that I... do. I Did I ever pick up Voices in the Night on vinyl? And, and I think I have most everything else, I believe. So, yeah, this is... Oh, my gosh. This is too much. Aaron, you're supposed to give me like one or two of them. <laughs> this is funny because another one... What is it? How many more are there in here? Cheapers. Aaron was probably ticked to see that video where I showed that I also got this on Supermodel Sunday. But the version I got... Oh, look, it's a gold stamp promo. The version I got was pretty much a... Uh, it was kind of rough. It didn't cost me a lot. And it was, um, I would say, probably on the VG level. I cleaned it up and probably got it to a good VG to VG+. Plus. So it was kind of a starter version. And this is this is VG++++ plus 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 near mint. So, wow. Dude, Sabotage. That's like so hard to get a hold of. It is funny though that I, I, I just, and it's tough when you buy a lot of stuff. You know, he's he's trying to look at what I've got, and what I don't have, and then he's doing that, and then I'm being a stupid face and going out and getting the stuff. It just happens to be. I'm like, what are the chances of me buying? What did I buy? Four, five, six albums on Super Metal Sunday, and they just happen to be two of them. This has been on my wish list for quite a while too. This is you know Stevie Ray Vaughan and uh, and Albert King. And it's, um, I've seen this album around a lot. I've seen it on CD. And yeah, this is just, I love Stevie Ray Vaughan too. Did, I have all of his stuff, most all of his stuff on CD. And have not really grabbed any of the vinyl stuff. But he's, you know, I, I've been impressed with him. The band I play in, play stuff by him. Because he's just one of my guitar players, favorite guitar players. So yes. Dude, why does it keep going? This is supposed to be like a short package. This, that, it's done. Look at that. And I have actually had this in my hands numerous times. Denver 79, right? Um, yeah, this is one of those reissues they did not too too terribly long ago in the past couple years. 2000, yeah, it's got a teen in there, 11, 12, whatever. Um, Rainbow, look at a holographic looking cover. I picked up the Live 77 when they recently reissued with Dio and everything. And then this is another, look at that, look at that beautiful set. It's funny because I recently got some uh, some rainbow also, but I did not get this. Oh, look at that. It's on color pink. Mofi. Dude. Way more. I was thinking maybe an album or two, but, you know, hey, if he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And he did it. Yeah, well, I'm not going to fight with that. All right. That is the bottom. Thankfully, I didn't want him to go broke. That's amazing. Wow, dude, you got so many things right. Everything in here is 100% right, and I'm sorry that I screwed things up. I, I don't, out of all the random albums, and he already mentioned one that I purchased the other day that he said I had that in your box. How out of the hundreds and hundreds of albums that I could possibly, that I possibly need, that I definitely need, he randomly ends up finding one or two that I just recently trigger, just happened to stumble upon on a Facebook sale. So I, hey, that's great though. I'm sure these but these copies are much better than the ones I've got, and I can you know most likely just move on the ones I got. Aaron, thank you so much. Wow, I, it, it's crazy that the postman took this long to get here, but wow, what a bunch of great stuff. Oh, I'm a real winner. I'm a real winner. When you play with Aaron Muth Alamere, you're a real winner. Thanks a lot, guys. I can't wait to rip into these. Thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard.